10 unconventional ways to become a more confident person. And as you can see here, this is the philosophy that you need to brand into your brain, which is really true of everything in your life. Anything that you perceive as lacking or other people having that you don't, or you think other people are just good at this or naturally that or whatever, that is complete nonsense. You are born as a baby and you can't even walk. Everybody comes out the gate unable to walk and then they figure out how to walk and they fall down a bunch of times and they stumble. Everybody starts out as a beginner with everything. Confidence is the same as learning how to walk, learning how to ride a bike, anything else. You learn by doing, by failing, by getting better, adapting, learning, failing, getting better, adapt, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to become a more confident person, like any skill, you want to learn how to play the piano, you want to do martial arts, you want to do anything, you have to have a conscious strategy for developing the skill. And today I'm going to give you 10 ways to do just that. First thing you want to do is you want to improve your speech. Now, right now I'm sitting in my studio, but I also have my phone. I do videos in the car for my YouTube, and I'm also doing the podcast. I've eliminated the likes and ums and ahs and the filler words from my vocabulary, mostly by taking action and recording content on a regular basis. So if you want to become more confident, I highly, highly recommend getting your phone out, putting on landscape mode, recording a video on something you're passionate about or anything. Just talk to the camera for five minutes, three to five minutes, watch it back and do that consistently within a few months, you will quite literally become a different person. The better you are at speaking and communicating, pausing, et cetera, right? The more charismatic you become and the more confident you become with people. This is something that will serve you in more ways than one. I highly recommend getting a daily recording practice. Like I said, as simple as your phone, turning it on record, and going. And if you like it, you can upload it to YouTube and start a channel on some topic or whatever. And the benefits that will bring you in confidence and your speaking skills and the other opportunities that might bring you for going on podcasts and doing speeches and whatever, like it's just massive. When you get in front of a camera, when you're or, or a mic and you're speaking and you get more comfortable doing that, that will translate to your everyday life and in conversations with potential partners, uh, business, coworkers, bosses, whatever. When you become a more charismatic speaker, people will listen to you and they will kind of let you know through their respect of your word and through just the way they listen and, and talk to you and interact, they will let you know that you're a better speaker in these subtle ways, which will then translate to confidence and then you'll do it more and then they'll give you more and it just becomes this perfect feedback loop. So work on your speech, daily record yourself, or I mean, at least a couple times a week, record yourself for the purpose of improving and practicing. And then if it so behooves you, consider starting a YouTube channel on some topic and just talk to your phone once a day. I highly recommend doing that. Two, read a lot. The most interesting people that I have conversations with that I've come across in life are those that read a lot. They read a lot of books, they listen to podcasts, they read articles, they're generally interested in learning and they're, con and they're constantly consuming information. Building a reading habit can change your life in more ways than you can fathom. But one of the biggest benefits of reading a lot is developing your confidence. You have more to say, you're a better conversationalist, you have more interesting facts and whatever. It is the most underrated skill in the world today. And most people are spending time reading shallow content or texts or like social media. Start reading high quality articles, books, listen to podcasts. You know, of course, like watching YouTube videos can also apply here, but get in the habit of reading high quality content on a regular basis and your confidence as a result of your knowledge will soar. This one is a people skill. Start saying less, making less statements and replacing that with better listening. As you become a better listener, people will respect that. They will be interested in talking to you. You will make them feel good. That will translate to more confidence. And also the fact is most people suck at listening. So when you become a better listener, you're standing out, build confidence. Also, you start realizing that most people have short attention spans. They're not good at listening. So you become more thrifty in your speech, more thrifty in your statements, move more to questions, move more to letting people talk, game changer for personal growth and development, and it will lead to more confidence. Dress your best. Now, if I came up here on camera and I was wearing kind of my 
relaxing at home clothes with like a large t-shirt and pants that have holes in them. It would translate into my deliverability and how I feel like I look on camera, right? This is a very subtle thing, right? You know that when you dress up and you walk out and you're out and about and people are seeing you, it leads to a natural confidence, right? It really does. And so what I recommend here, because you can be, you can go too far with this. You can become too obsessed with your appearance and you have to be careful of that. You don't want to become obsessed with your appearance. You want to get to that point where you feel like you look good. You're naturally confident as a result. And then you just kind of ignore your appearance. It's just it's there and your subconscious will kind of exude some of that natural confidence and that will translate in your mannerisms and how you talk and speak and everything. Just don't become too obsessed with your appearance and put too much stock in it because that can have a actual reverse effect where you actually seek perfection and you're always concerned about how you look or whatever and it can then actually remove confidence because you're in kind of a scarcity mindset. That's what you don't wanna do. So dress well enough to where you get a natural confidence boost and you don't have to worry about it. Posture, number five. So obviously here, I'm on camera. If I was kind of, let's see. I don't know, I'm trying to slouch or like this. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, you know, or if I was like, yeah, I don't know. Upright posture, chest out, chin up. Okay, even pause when you walk in a doorway. Pause for a second, look around, walk. When you have the form and, and, and you are functionally acting in a way that is confident, your subconscious takes direction from that. They say things like form falls function or is it function falls form? I don't know. But it basically means like you want to kind of fake it and then your body will make it. Your subconscious will make it. So if you move in a way or you sit in a way that exudes confidence, that feels more confident, it's more of a power pose rather than kind of a curled off, closed, just not proper posture, you will feel more confident. And if you do this enough, you will develop the habit of sitting upright. You will develop the habit of being confident in your posture. And that will translate to confidence in your speech and your deliverability and your listening intently to somebody. And you'll just feel like a more confident person. Number six, smile more and maintain eye contact. I got to say, I'm not good as a poser, smiling poser. I always struggle with that. I always try to like think of something funny and then I can get that natural crow's feet smile, you know, <laughs> but it's like, always feels awkward when I force a smile. You got to find out what your strategies are for smiling more. Some people naturally smile more. Some people it's kind of, they're more deadpan and they're more almost like a perpetual frown, which I can fall into that mode sometimes myself. So you have to figure out what that is for you and then figure out mitigation strategies to smile more. So tell yourself a joke or I say like, Allison tickled me and then I smile, you know, or like my son will say something funny and I'll smile and it'll be natural and then I can capture that moment. So you have to figure out what that is, but you want to smile as much as possible. And then you want to hold eye contact with people. Most people can barely hold eye contact for 10 seconds before they feel the need to look away and you know, whatever, but just hold eye contact. I nod my head a lot when I'm listening to somebody, lets them know I'm kind of listening, paying attention. I'm, I'm mirroring them and I don't break gaze. And the more you do it, the more natural it will become. This one is definitely on the unconventional list. So if you want to become a more confident person, pursue mastery in something. You know, you could consider it life mastery. You want to be the best you can be. It could be a specific hobby. It could be recording videos. It could be a podcast. It could be writing. It could be something. I mean, it could be just like your, the game that you play. Like you want to become the best in the world at it and you work at it and you have a training routine and whatever. The most interesting confident people in the world almost always are world-class at something or at least expert level. And they spend a lot of time getting better. I don't really know why this translates into confidence, but it does. I say that because it's not like you have to become an amazing public speaker to become confident because that would be a skill that would obviously make you more confident on stage or whatever. You could literally just become amazing at knitting or something like world-class and you could spend hours every week doing that and refining your skill and your craft and it makes you a more confident person. I don't really know why it is again, but it does. So pursue mastery in at least something. Here's another one that is kind of unconventional. You just don't see people talk about it a lot, but give people compliments as much as possible. Every time you give somebody a compliment, there is this natural confidence booster that comes out of it. 
you make them feel good. They kind of smile and light up and reciprocate back to you. And it just seems like a lot of people aren't good at giving compliments. So you stand out from the pack a little bit and you kind of raise your status in a way, even if it's just subconscious, because you're one that is willing to give compliments. And in fact, I think it's a kind of a vulnerability thing. When you're able to give compliments to people, it shows you are confident and you're willing to be vulnerable and kind of be honest with people. And it just leads to more confidence. So compliment people as much as possible. The world will be a better place. People will like you even more. Again, this is a huge for people skill, right? And you will become more common person as a result. Number nine, the Boy Scouts had it figured out. Do a good deed daily, a daily good deed. Do something for somebody to lift them up, to make them better, to help them. I mean, it could be something as simple as holding the door. I mean, that's kind of not as impactful if you're already doing that. But if you're someone who doesn't hold the door, then hold the door a few times and smile at people as they walk through. That can actually be super big, right? Find some strategies and, and open your mind in a way to be always looking for something to be able to do a good deed for people, for someone else, uh, or for a pet. I don't know. Just something that will put some positivity in the world. You will feel good as a result of doing it. And then it will bounce back to give you more confidence, just like the complimenting effect. When you compliment people, it bounces back and it gives you a confidence boost as a result. And then finally, cultivate beginner's mind. Now this is a tool prong, unconventional approach to becoming confident because you're first trying to eliminate imposter syndrome and things like the expert fallacy where people look at experts and people in positions of power and they think they have it all figured out and they think they need some credentials to be able to do or say anything or have an impact. That is complete nonsense. As somebody who's been a college dropout and who grew up thinking myself that maybe I wasn't smart enough because I didn't do well in school, whatever, and then getting into adulthood and realizing that, wow, I'm actually really good at some things and I'm pretty intelligent and I have a pretty good work ethic and I can, whatever. Going through that, I've dealt with this firsthand because this idea that you need to go to college and have a degree or whatever, and most of that's nonsense. If you cultivate a beginner's mindset to everything, you remove imposter syndrome and the expert fallacy because you don't think you need to have somebody's permission. You just go out there as a beginner and you learn and you grow and you adapt and you learn and you grow and you adapt and you, you're you a beginner, right? So you're not worried about whether you're going to do it perfect or this idea that you need to be like great at everything you do or everything you pursue. It's complete and utter nonsense. Go into life, uh, into anything with a beginner's mindset and you remove imposter syndrome, which has a negative effect on confidence. And you go into it saying, I'm here as a beginner. I want to learn. Teach me everything. I want to make mistakes. I want to fail. I want to adapt. I want to iterate. Probably the most confident boosting thing you can do in your work or anything that you're trying to pursue in life that you're just starting out. If you go in with a beginner's mind, it's a game changer. Whereas most people sit on the sidelines, worried they need some credentials, they don't even take any action whatsoever, and they basically watch other people live life. That's not what you want to do. So cultivate a beginner's mindset, and it will be a game changer for success and confidence. So finally, back to this. Confidence is a skill. And I gave you 10 ways that you can build confidence, but there's hundreds or potentially thousands of them. So these are some of the ones that I identified as first principles. So you're going to get a lot of benefit out of these. And like I said at the beginning, you're also going to get a lot of benefit with people. And the better you are with people, the more confident you become. Because like I said, a lot of confidence is actually based on what you perceive other people perceive you and perceive your skills as, right? It's an interesting concept. But with any skill, if you don't get out there and take consistent action, if you're not trying things, experimenting, putting effort in, you're not going to develop the skill. Cultivate that beginner's mind. Go into everything, including your confidence strategy, with a, I'm here to learn, I'm here to try, I'm here to test things. And I'm going to keep growing, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep adapting. That's great. So I hope you got some value out of this. Colin Stuckert here. I will see you in the next one.